glory is on tour in the skies. God craft on exhibit across the horizon. Madam Day holds classes every morning. Professor Knight lectures each evening. I got a bunch of things to send you. Pictures and that spiritual gifts inventory and <laughs> there's a bunch of things that we're about to continue to communicate. You there, Bello? Yep. Okay, the rear end is still open. about to take off from Seattle for New York City in my paddle pilgrim journey up the Hudson River to Albany uh, for the Earth Weekend, uh, speaking in five or six different places and uh, starting my day with Seattle's best coffee, ready to take off, paddle boldly. Going across the George Washington Bridge, looking upriver up the Hudson on kind of a foggy day. You're probably going to get sick watching that. But you get to see a very handsome friend of mine over here driving the car. Thank you, Bello Donja, our driver, as we're heading uh, from Manhattan up the river across to Joyce and then up to uh, Milton Landing to speak at the train station tonight. So, um, a little short video. Bello wants me to videotape, so here's here's some videotape. Set up my tent right here. Had my dinner and uh, in the middle of the night a tra two trains, there's trains going both directions. A train stopped at the crosswalk there and it stopped for an hour and a half and ping, 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 ping. It went on for an hour and a half. Drove me crazy. I was ready to hang it up and go home. Seriously. And then in the morning, I'm lying in bed, sleeping. I hear something knocking on my tent, I thought. I thought I'm dreaming. Happened again, and then a voice. Standing right here was Daniel and Chrissy, his dog. And they said, do you like coffee? I'm Daniel. And a friendship began. From right here, we went up the mountain, up the hill to his uh, house, had coffee and bagels, <clears throat> had great conversations, and basically uh, he showed me around this area, the train station where I'll be speaking tonight that they're restoring, and, uh, and he convinced me I shouldn't stop my journey, I should keep going. I was ready to quit. And so we walked over here, <clears throat> loaded up my kayak, right there and the tide was in because this is all tidal so the water came all the way up there and I shoved off right across there and three days later kissed Lady Liberty.
this Daniel? Daniel, it's Dave. We have arrived. We're down at the train station. No rush. We're just we're just hanging out. What what works for you at this point? Oh, go right ahead. We're just gonna we're just gonna walk down to the water. And do you want us to drive someplace, or do you want to meet us down here? What works for you? Here we are again. Yeah. See a couple of boats, a couple of trains go by. <laughs> yeah, I had some trains go by, oil train. On tour in the skies. God craft on exhibit across the horizon. Madam Day holds classes every morning. Professor Knight lectures each evening. So pretty good. Are you still videotaping, Bello? Yep. It never ends. or 11.35. I have a special place in my heart for the wilderness. With the big ships along the river here, down the Hudson, I would take out from my pocket my little uh, mirror, and it was my rear view mirror, and occasionally I'd look over my shoulder to make sure that there wasn't some oil tanker or some large barge bearing down on me, because it's really kind of quiet, and if the wind is blowing, you don't hear it. So seeing that barge and seeing the waves that you're gonna see coming up here in a minute, you have to get turned toward the waves and go across the waves because they're pretty large. Shadamook Yacht Club, where it was a combination of the Yacht Club folks and uh, essentially Pete Seeger folks who are doing oh, wow. river cleanup stuff. Yeah. So it was really yeah. an interesting mix, yeah. and I met some wonderful people, and I want to continue to follow mm -hmm. up with the Seeger mob, because mm -hmm. I've been a strong social justice guy for uh -huh. 